Well, hello there, and welcome to Ask Allie, your go-to source of some amazing life advice with a metaphysical twist. I'm Allie, the host of the longest-running spiritual podcast on Apple Podcasts. That's right, since 2005, I've been helping people just like you navigate the mystical world of self-discovery, spiritual growth, and exploration. Today is Monday, June 19th, 2023, and I'm so excited you're tuning in to give me a listen. Today we'll be discussing you being the boss of your life. If you love this episode and want to learn more, head over to outofbodyxc.com. There you find a ton of resources and information, including how to book a reading with me. And don't forget, if you're feeling extra generous, please give this episode a five-star rating, leave a review, or share it with three friends. Together, we can create a community of like-minded spiritual individuals who are all working toward creating a better life for ourselves and others. We are on season 18, believe it or not, season 18, it still amazes me. We are on episode 21. And for the magical item of the week, we are looking at patchouli, the essential oil. The planet it represents is Saturn, the element of Earth. The magical uh, influences it has is sex, which is always good, physical energy, very good, and money, which I'm sure we all like. <laughs> now, the scent of patchouli is useful in arousing sexual desire and has been celebrated as such for hundreds of years. With proper imagination, so you got to use your imagination on this one, it releases anxiety regarding sex and prepares its user for an enjoyable experience. You inhale the patchouli and imagine yourself having anxiety-free sexual relations with yourself or somebody else, all right? To get yourself going in the morning, you want to smell, give yourself a few whiffs of patchouli for only a few seconds, then it starts to ride up, kind of like... Um, what other do I like for getting me up in the morning? I love any orange, lemon, lime. Those are also fantastic essential oils for that. And also, you can also inhale this wonderful, uh, what do you want to call it? Musky, musky scent. Um, you can inhale this and imagine yourself attracting money to you. Attracting money any way you want to through... An increase in your income by your side hustle, by your business, by inheritance, any way you want that you're comfortable with attracting money to you. That's what you imagine when you're inhaling the scent of patchouli. Now, we'll have a little picture of patchouli and the planet represents the elements and its magical influences on this post's on this episode's post at outofbodyxc.com. Now, moving forward, let us do the Oracle Card Overview of the Week for June 19th, 2023. And we're using the Sacred Trail of Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. If you would also like to see a picture of the cards I'm about to draw here, um, please visit this episode's post at where? Outofbodyxc.com. And I sure hope my fan in the background isn't bothering you. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. I'm hoping you cannot. Um, it's one of those nice big tarot ones. And uh, it's, it's <laughs> every time I have an office, it is the hottest room in the house. I don't know why that is. It's just how, it's just how life goes. But even in my new house, which I love, um, it's, it's still the warmest room in the entire house. All right, so let us get here and shuffle and draw our three cards. See what kind of week we're having. I know when I did um, the energy preview for uh, Mystical Minds. And again, guys, if you ever want to take a look at Mystical Minds, um, the link is in the show's notes. Um, it's also, there's a link on Out of Body Ecstasy. You can join. If you don't like it, you can quit. But I bet you'll you'll stay with it because people who stay with it, um, they like the energy overview of the week. They like cards being pulled for them. They like me answering questions, you know, getting their intentions in the intention grid. It's all good stuff. 
All right, so card number one, right? Card number two. And last but certainly not least, let's get card number three here. Card number three. Right. Put these out of the way. One. Which one? Two. Card number three. All right. Well, this week kind of matches the energy. It makes sense. <laughs> so for Monday and Tuesday of this week, so the 19th and the 20th, the card I pulled is Ascending the Mountain. Keep going forward. So Monday and Tuesday, it's going to feel like you're you're going uphill, no matter what you're doing. You know, you, you, you finally get somewhere. It's like, oh, my God, I, I've got to go further. Do I really? You do really. Um, it's important that you keep ascending the mound. It's important that you keep moving forward on Monday and Tuesday in whatever is, is causing you a little bit of grief here that you have to go up the mound. Whatever it is will pay off, but you have to keep moving forward. That is the most important thing. Please keep moving forward because it will pay off. Then for Wednesday and Thursday, after you've, you've, you've climbed the mountain, Wednesday and Thursday, we have taking shelter. The answers are within. So Wednesday and Thursday is not the time to look outside of yourself um, for answers. You'll find them, but um, they won't ring true with you. It'll be like, yeah, really. So instead, look within. Trust your intuition on Wednesday and Thursday. It will not let you down. Ask yourself a question. Ask your guides a question. And listen to what the answer is via your intuition. Okay, so that's Wednesday and Thursday. That will also help you move forward if you pay attention to it. And then we have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, Monday through Thursday, we work pretty hard. Going up the mountain, trusting our intuition, seeking answers. And then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it is a weekend of self-care and relaxation. Why? Because I pulled the Watching Clouds card. And it's all about lying back, resting, and relax relaxation. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's self-care. Okay, you can't push, push, push 24-7, seven, seven days a week, four weeks a month, or 52 weeks a year, however you want to look at it, and not administer self-care. So with the four days of push, 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 and moving forward, hopefully you're going to do that because you're going to keep moving forward, you get the rest Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So kick back. Um, this is a weekend of socializing. It's a weekend of um, doing what makes you happy. We'll put a smile on your face. If you want to go to a party or a concert or if you want to garden or if you want to rearrange a room, um, create a new dish, whatever it is that puts a smile on your face and relieves stress. Yes, it can also be sex. Doesn't matter what it is. All right. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so to recap, Monday and Tuesday, we have ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. No matter what, no matter how tough it seems to get, keep moving forward. Wednesday and Thursday, we have taking shelter. The answers are within. So although you can very easily ask other people for advice, their advice won't ring true to you like you want it to. So search for your answers within. Trust your intuition. Talk to your guides, your angels, whomever that are within. Your soul, your higher self, Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, do what makes you smile. Do what relieves stress that is fun, that energizes you, okay, for the upcoming of next week. All right? All right. So moving forward, let's go to the topic this week. Be the boss of your life. Now imagine, imagine if you will, the gathering of a spiritual community. Now within this spiritual community, there's a guide, a nice sage soul who orchestrates the energy, cultivates intentions, and holds sacred space for transformation. 
You got that in your mind? Now, I want you to imagine that that guide is you. And that community, it is the tapestry of your life. It's thrilling, isn't it, to think of it that way? It could be, I don't know, a touch intimidating, maybe. As our as a spiritual teacher, um, I never say her name right. <laughs> Marianne, it's probably wrong, Williamson, and I don't know, we all know who she is, but I, I apologize if I said her name wrong. Our deepest fears is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You're, and only you, are the boss of your life. You're the one tuning into your inner wisdom, charting your path through the cosmos. The boss doesn't always have a step-by-step -step manual, right? Life is a voyage of exploration, discovery, and continual learning. There may be moments when the cosmos seem out of sync. God knows I've had that a gazillion times. Your energy feels out of balance at least a couple days a week. Or doubts do loom large. And that does happen to me quite often. But these moments are not roadblocks. No, they're not. They are catalysts for growth. They are opportunities to pause, realign, tap into your inner wisdom, and emerge stronger. Had I not done that, I would not be in my new house in Akron, Ohio, leaving my bus driving job behind and back to doing what I love, this and sexual wellness for women full time. And it's going wonderful. Okay. Life will bring days of serene meditation by a tranquil lake. And days of traversing challenging energetic terrains. You'll face trials and <laughs> damn it, you're going to make mistakes. But that's part of the human experience. What truly matters is how you navigate these episodes. Do they overwhelm you or do they serve as an enlightening lesson that propels you into spiritual growth? A truly wise guide recognizes the lessons hidden within, within every experience. They don't abandon their spiritual path at the sight of an obstacle. They seek wisdom, adapt, and continue their journey with newfound strength and understanding. Now, whom they seek wisdom with, whatever stage they're in or you're in, who you seek out for wisdom changes. And that's okay. You don't have to go to the same person all the time. Seek out other avenues. All right. Now, Albert Einstein, he was a man of great wisdom, once said, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving forward. This means we should celebrate our spiritual victories, but never consider them as our final destination. It's the courage to continue, to evolve, to keep seeking is what truly counts. Now, how do we support this spiritual journey? By harnessing the power of the natural world around us. Rosemary essential oil, for instance, is known for its ability to clear the mind and stimulate mental activity. Perfect for helping you steer your life confidently. It is also a oil of protection. So it protects your energy as you're growing as a spiritual person. Crystals like citrine and carnelian are renowned for their power to ignite self-confidence, courage, and creativity. And an herb? How about some ginger root? It can help spark that inner fire of self-assurance and... Re <laughs> nope. Reliance. That's the word I'm looking for. Ginger root? You can put it in your food. You can burn it as an incense. Um, you can also, if you want to put it as an oil instead of an herb. Ginger oil also helps the same with self-assurance and um, resilience. So I'm going to take, take a moment and I want you to gaze upon the sacred space of your life. It's filled with boundless spiritual potential. You're the guide. You're the boss of your life. So what is your next move? As Buddha wisely said, each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Remember, it's not about spiritual perfection. It's about growth, evolution, and the journey itself. 
So inhale some rosemary oil, hold your crystals close, and prepare to continue along your path. After all, you're the boss, and there's a divine journey awaiting you. Well, here we are at the end, guys. I want to thank you for joining me here at Ask Alley. I hope you enjoyed the episode and realized that, yes, you and only you are the boss of your life. If you like what you heard, please take a moment to rate and review the episode. The more people who listen equals the more people I can help have their aha moments. And speaking of helping others, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Wisdom for even more, even more tips, tricks, and inspiration. And last, but certainly not least, if no one's told you today, let me be the first to say it. You are fabulous. Take care of yourself and have a magical week. I'll catch you next time.